Hi everybody, this is Kathy again from Whole Home and Body Health. And today I want to shoot a quick little video on the Safe and Sound Classic. So this is a meter that I do recommend. Um, it is a good little meter. It is about $135 or so, I believe. Uh, and it's quite accurate. The benefit of this meter is it doesn't have numbers on it. That could be a, a advantage or disadvantage. But for those people that get tripped up and don't know what the numbers mean, and that's just too, a little too much, this meter is great because it just has the LEDs that give you a, um, a range of intensity. So slight, moderate, high, or extreme, which makes it very easy for people to use. And it has sound as well. So if I turn this on, there's not much going on. So you might not be able to hear that. I'm hovering between the slight and moderate range. Um, now I've got a phone here. So let's go ahead and turn this phone on because it is off. So if I'm going to, let's say, take this phone out of airplane mode, I do not want Bluetooth on. Please turn off. Okay, well the Bluetooth is on too, that's not good, but I'll show you how to turn that off. So you see we're in the extreme range, right? Uh, so, and the sound got louder. So this is a good little, it's a good little meter. Um, it's, it's quite accurate. So let's, well, as a bonus here, I'm just gonna show you what to do about this Bluetooth here. So you can see that I just turned that Bluetooth off, but you know what? It's not really off. I don't know why it went on, but um, this is important to note because you see my Wi-Fi is off. The Bluetooth says not connected. That means it is still looking for a signal, so it is still emitting a radio frequency. It has to say OFF. So I'm gonna go into my settings here and turn it off. If I can do that back, back, backwards, okay. No, sorry, that wasn't the Bluetooth, that was the Wi-Fi. Excuse me, it was the Wi-Fi that came on. Um, and so now I turned it off. See, so it says OFF, OFF off, off, not, not connected, off, okay. And my phone is in airplane mode, so it is now not getting any signals, which is how it is 99% of the time. Okay, back to our meter here. This is a good little meter uh, for the price. If you don't wanna worry about what the numbers mean, um, I do recommend it. Um, Safe Living Technologies makes this meter. I will leave a link to it below with a discount code. And I also want to mention that they just have an updated meter, which is just like this, except it's in a watch format, which is really nice because it's discreet. It looks like a smartwatch, but it's not emitting anything. It's just telling you what kind of environment you're in. Am I in a moderate, high, extreme environment? And it, it um, vibrates too. So you don't necessarily have to look at it. It will just tell you by the vibration. Also an excellent mirror. So. Um, yes, of course, this meter isn't nearly as sensitive as, say, the Safe and Sound Pro, which I love. I absolutely love this meter. This meter is much more expensive, and it does tell you the numbers if you want to know the numbers. I did uh, a video on my review of this meter, which I will leave to you um, below here. Uh, but in the meantime, um, I highly recommend this meter as well as the watch if you don't want to spend as much on the Safe and Sound Pro 2. This is about 385, so this one is cheaper. They're both worth it. Um, so that's it. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. Hit the bell and the like and the subscribe. I think I got them all. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye.